Welcome everyone to this video on the estimate management screen of Quantify. When you first log in, this is the screen you're going to be presented with, and it looks very blank. So let's go and create on the left hand side here, I can right click, or I can select a drop down menu to make a new folder. And let's call this training. I can then use the drop down menu or I can right click and I can create a new estimate and let's call this 2201. And I can choose whether I want a template or not. Templates, uh, and we'll get into this a little bit more in the rest of the video, is whether you want certain features already brought in, stuff like your breakdowns already filled out for you. You don't have to do this and you can make as many templates of your own as you want. Out of the box, Quantify comes with one template, so I'm gonna select that for now. And I'll show you what that brings in when we open the estimate up. So once we open the estimate, we click on it and we can see all of the information that we can enter in in this screen. Starting with a site visit date. So let's set September 1st. Let's say the closing date is November 1st for this job. And let's say the completion date is out in March. This is just for your peace of mind and for your recollection. Anytime you can open up Quantify and you can see these dates. What do you have coming up for this job and for every job? For the labor manual, we have the Suderman Quantify labor manual. We have partnered with Suderman Estimating and have imported their labor manual into uh, quantify along with all the notes and assumptions. You have access uh, that you can copy this manual. Once you've copied it, you can make whatever changes you like to it. You can bring in your own manuals. Uh, we've tried to create quantify to be as customizable as possible for you while still being very, very simple and easy to use. For pricing, we have the quantify pricing and currently we bring in Home Depot in Canada and pricing right now runs at once a month and we bring in list pricing. So you're still going to want to send out for pricing of most items, especially uh, the bigger ticket items. You're going to want to send that out for pricing, but we do try to bring in as much as we can for as many materials as we can just to give you a, a list price sense of the job. Then we have units and you can choose between Imperial or metric. And note here that the default units in Imperial is feet and the default in metric is millimeters. This is more important when you go to set your scale on a drawing. And that's something we're going to do in another video, but I just wanted to point it out here. And then we have the template button over here. And that is there if you want to make a template out of this job. And there's lots of reasons you might want to do this. You might just want to stick with our template. You might not want to use any template, but you can create as many templates as you'd like in Quantify. And maybe you want to have certain units or labor books or whatever it is set up for, you know, commercial jobs, residential jobs, jobs with certain uh, clients. You can set that up however you want. We then have the bid list section down here. And if I click the plus button, I can type in a company name that I'm going to bid to, usually a, gen, a general contractor. And if I type, say, Graham is a general contractor, uh, the first name, let's go with John Doe. And if it knows who it is in the system, it will pull in uh, whatever information it can. So as you add people, the system will remember who you've added. So you don't have to enter in all of that information every time for companies you're regularly bidding to. Once I click add, we can see that they've gone in here. And let's say I add another one for TCL construction, and they will pop up. And if I type in here another John Doe, that will come up. If you click on the email link here, it's going to open whatever default email application you have on your computer, be it uh, Google or Outlook or whatever it is. For each of these GCs or whoever it is that you're bidding to, you can select where you came. Maybe with Graham, I was the second. Maybe with uh, PCL, I was the low bid. And overall, I won the job. Great. 
And that's why we have a bid result over here separate from the individual bids is because you might not have initially been awarded with PCL, but maybe eventually you were. Uploading files is as simple as clicking in this estimate files area, or I can drag and drop a file into this area. Once it uploads, you'll see it down here. And I can delete that file or I can re-download that file. So if you ever have files or jobs that you have lost the drawings or maybe they're not on a computer that you're currently on, if you're using someone else's computer or laptop, you can always quickly download those files again uh, and have them. We also have a notes section and this is for job notes. So even though you can add notes in the takeoff screen, which we'll be showing in another video, you can add notes to the job here that are going to stay on this estimate management screen. So maybe I want to add a note to remember to add vendor. Once I click off of there, that note is saved. I can add as many notes as I want. And every time I click off, that automatically becomes saved. These notes will stay here and they're just whatever notes you want to have for that job in general. Once I'm ready to start a takeoff, I can click the big green button here at the bottom. And the only part I'm going to talk to you about in this particular video in this takeoff screen is the breakdown section. And this will also be covered in the takeoff video. But because we talked about setting the templates, we can see that we have certain systems and spec sections and trades that were brought in from our template. You can of course add whatever you want here or delete them, but this was all brought in automatically from the template. So this is the kind of stuff that if you want to set up your own templates that you can have come in again for different types of jobs or for different clients or however you want to work. That's all for this video on the estimate management screen, and I hope you check out the other videos about all the other parts of Quantify to see how to use the system. For more information, please feel free to reach out to us at info at patabid.com.